What's going on people? It's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be looking at alternative button options for your macro. So let's get into it. Alright, so right here I've got a macro that saves a range as a PDF and that range being from B2 down to C14 and it gets saved in this folder here. So if I go ahead and run it, you'll see the PDF gets created and you've got your cookie sales report. And as you add, you know, different cookies to this list and the amount, the numbers up here change. And as you run the macro, a new um, PDF overrides the existing one if it's on the same date. Otherwise, it'll create a new PDF with that current date. And we want to add a button, but if you go to the developer tab, you're going to see just, you know, these basic options here. And no one really wants that. It'd be nice to be able to use something cooler. So what we can do here is go to insert and then illustrations. So let's try icons. So if I type in a cookie, you see I've got an icon here that I can insert. And it looks really familiar because there's one here already. So what I can do here is actually assign the macro to this icon. So now, when I click on the icon, the macro runs. Pretty cool, right? Um, I can also click on shapes. Let's go ahead and choose this one. And we can make an outline. Go with red. Um, please click here for report. And then we can go ahead and change the alignment, change the size. Oh, it's kind of big. And even the color if we want to. Kind of hurts my eyes. Sorry about that. Uh, let's do, let's go with white. And then, if we want, we can assign a macro to this. So now, when we click on this, the macro runs. And you've got different design options to choose from. So if you like, if you were to click on right click and hit style, they have like these preset styles you can choose from, which is pretty cool. Um, and then you can also insert a picture. So if I go to this device, I've got my logo here in my images folder. So if I click insert, I've got my logo. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's move this a little bit up here. Right click, assign macro, save range as PDF. Now if I click the logo, the macro runs. So yeah, some pretty cool options, alternatives to using those boring gray buttons that we see all the time. And that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.